Welcome to the second episode of our Just One More Thing mini-series. In this episode, I'll cover some of the real A320 parts I've added to the cockpit, not only to add functionality, but also to increase the immersion and have a little fun here and there. Let's start with the cabin interphone, which I added shortly after the printer. I initially thought about getting a look-alike part. However, while browsing a few websites reselling actual aircraft parts, I was lucky to find an actual A320 cabin interphone at a very reasonable price. It is the model you would find in the cabin, not in the cockpit, yeah, and but that will do just fine. In order to install the interphone on the back of the pedestal, possible, I had to make a, a cutout in, in but, uh, the jump seat footrest, which was relatively straightforward. Then it was just a matter of securing the base of the interphone and putting everything back together. Of the entire flight and there you have back, it. Relax, enjoy your flight. Flight attendants, please secure the cabin for departure. Thank you. Before I even had my first visitor in the cockpit, I wanted to acquire some real A320 gear pins. I thought it would be priceless to see the first officer's reaction once I pulled three gear pins out of their improvised storage bin next to my seat. So Care pins and covers? Removed. Fun fact, I bought these for the same price I sold my old Statec yoke during the peak of the Flight Simulator 2020 craze. The last project involving real aircraft parts, which I'm still currently working on, is adding hand microphones for both the captain and first officer. In addition to the microphones themselves, I thought it would be good to have them plugged into their actual VU panels. This will not only look good, but also facilitate any connections I need to make so that ultimately they will be fully functional. As I don't have the part of the cockpit where these panels would normally be mounted, I decided to disassemble them so that I could mount them on a small plastic box that I could easily relocate. However, I soon discovered that the screws don't have a standard Phillips head, and I needed to get some special screwdriver bits. As usual, Having the right tool made all the difference, and I was able to take everything apart. My next step is to connect the microphone to your USB sound card, and the push-to-talk button to an Arduino board or similar, so that the hand microphones would be functional. Stay tuned for more information about that mini-project. In the meantime, I hope to see you in a future video.